Well, welcome my fellow travelers. Your traveling buddy here coming from the Whitefish Bay scenic area out here in the UP and I told you, uh, I think this is Hiawatha National Forest. I told you I'm going to show you the fall colors and then we're coming up with the color tour where well, you're going to see some co colors now. So travel with me, will you? Well, like I said, this is the uh, Hiawatha National Forest and up on the Mission Hill Gardens of the Forest. Look at all that. You see. And look, this is where we're at. Here we are. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Look at that. Yeah, you see the. Oh, there's a freighter. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Holy cow. Must be, I don't have any this is beautiful. Now you got a stick in the bottom. Nate, you can smile. You can see him good. See him? Look at those colors. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. How are you doing today? In the mood? I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful day. Oh, yes. Very beautiful day. Youngster. Look at him. He's fast as could be. <laughs> <laughs> This is beautiful. Pretty too, eh? Oh yeah. I was telling the other guys, the last man killed in World War One is back there. Really? Yes. Really. The last man in World War One. Uh huh. He was riding a white horse, telling everybody the war was over because the whole tribe went as a group. They didn't split them up. And uh, a sniper shot him. Wow. Alfred LeBlanc. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, don't. We don't want to see no smile on your face. This is a beautiful area. Yes, it is. You live here? Oh, huh? You live here? Right down the woods there, yeah. No? Oh, you live right down in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's got to be special. <laughs> Are you Native American? No, I'm an Indian. <laughs> I'm trying to be respectful. <laughs> it's a she will quit booking oh. Yeah, I'm a native. <laughs> I'm, I'm pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Huh? I'm part Chippewa, so. Oh. Yeah. Do you want us to take a picture? Well, I'm the part yeah. where I can stay okay. here and it's pretty good. I don't have to okay. worry about yeah. hospitals or pills or food or nothing. Utilities. You want one of candy, boy? No. Don't be bashful. Don't be bashful. Come on. You got, yeah, he's, you part of, he's part of your heritage in a one way. When you go to school, do you you talk to the kid next? This is such a beautiful area, guys. Look at this. Can you believe? Doesn't disappoint the colors. So there's still a lot of green, but there's some beautiful colors. See, that's Canada right over there. I believe that's Canada. That guy says he lives right down in here. Must be nice. <laughs> well, I guess I can't. <laughs> That's kids nowadays, right? Yeah, we'll see what else. You guys being nice. You see those big being nice to you. But he's being nice to you. You can eat it later. The white crosses back there, eight of them. My father. And we're going to come over here, right across from that lookout in the Mission Hill Cemetery. And the guy was saying, you're telling me, well, oh, there's that lighthouse we were just at. Yeah. Um, that the last man from World War One is buried out here. Dang. And this is Native American land. He's we gotta find his. Okay. This is cool. I like that arch. This is awesome. There's some real old ones. Look at that. They just got the initials on it. EJ. What's the song that says EJ? Huh? That's the 
phone right in front of you. Yeah. It says EJ. That's yeah. the one mom what about tripped it? over and found. Yeah. Oh, Dad you know this one? Yeah, Di was telling us about it. She tripped over it last year when she was here. And then she cleared the oh, leaves. right here in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. EJ. Oh, my sister said she tripped over that one. That's an old one right there. Yeah, she said there was three stones and they were there was a bunch of leaves. And she unburied them beside EJ. Haynes. Johnson's. Yeah, supposedly the last. Here, here's a Thomas Anderson. Hey. That's, that's my last name. name. That's our last name, yep. Who died December 4th, 1888, is it? Age 28 years old. He was only a native of Grant, Ontario. Ontario. Oh, Grant, Ontario. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at that little. It's like it's like, almost like a Native American woman. I almost thought it was the uh, Virgin Mary, but it's more like a Native American woman statue. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Here we got a bunch of graves that says unknown. Nobody knows who's buried out here. So these are probably really old. Oh, look at the crosses. There's crosses over here. This might be from the dude in World War One. And this, uh, who knows? This could be the soldier. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Let's see, that's definitely because you can see the flags. So oh, look, this is. A star. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Oh well, yeah. Okay. But there's definitely a soldier. Who is this, Robert? Wayne Parish, Michigan, Private One Infantry, uh, World War II, May 3rd, 1928 to July 23rd, 1970. Wow. Well, Robert, I salute you and thank you for your service. And look, you can see, see how they. They have the, where you can see the outline of the body. Not flat like most cemeteries. This one's two. Here's another one. Parish. Trying to respect what I want to read it, but. Look at that little wooden William S. Parish. William and Hundrum? Is that it? That's just probably his wife. Hold, uh, Hold Delia M. 1892 to 1966. Yeah, but I like these little wooden Oops. ones. Oops. Yeah, be careful. I'm trying to stay beside. In a parish, says that just says all it says. There's a guy, for, obviously, a grave right here. There's another one there. There's a chipmunk. I don't know. And there is a chipmunk. Oh, you're chattering at me. Where is he? There he is. He's, uh, no, that's a squirrel. Oh. That's a squirrel chattering at me. You see him, a little squirrel right there? That's a little squirrel. <laughs> chattering at me. Oh, he's so You don't like us being here. Look <laughs> it. I want to be quiet. There's the little chipmunk right there. See him? Oh, he's running. He's he's running fast. The little chipmunk right over there. Fist out. They have a, in memory. There's only eight. In eight memory, here, the 17 sailors family. of the steamer Myron who perished on November 22nd, 1919, eight of whom are bar buried here. Are known only to the ages. And then here's the wow! Story. And then right here is the story. During the early evening of November 22nd, 1919, the steamer Myron slid beneath the waters of Lake Superior off Whitefish Point during a violent storm. The crew attempted to use the lifeboats, while ca the captain chose to remain with his ship. 
The crew perished, but the captain was found near Isle per Perison, clinging to a portion of the floating wreckage. In the spring of 1920, the eight bodies from the iron encased in ice washed the sword as Salt Point. They were buried here. May they rest in peace. And I always say, you see all these coins? That has a respect. People put that in the... Look at that. And we're going to do that. Here we go. Out of respect. Rest in peace, fellas. Me and my nephew put there. My mom and them put theirs. Supposed to be good luck for you. This is cool. Look at this. Clarence G. Berlin, CWO, U.S. Air Force, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, 1914 to 1985. And look at this stone they have on there. That's I think that's his true gravestone, but look at this. This is beautiful. U.S. Air Force. That's cool. Well, Clarence, I salute you and thank you for your service. Rest in peace. Oh, check this out. I've never seen anything like this. Look at that, like the rosary. Wow. Osmar. Look at this. For each scene of the, she noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. Oh, it's a little thing about the footprints. But that's her picture. I've never seen anything like this. Look at that. This is really cool. That is cool. Look at the little sand. It's like little things. Yeah, it's like a rosary. And there's that little bench here. Loring J. Osmar, U.S. Army, World War II, December 4th, 1921, June 10th, 2015. Oh, look. They got a little, uh, that's like the, is that the London Bridge? I'm not sure. Look at that little bridge. It's not the Mac. It's not the Mackinac Bridge. That is cool. Look at that little bridge. I like this thing. Look at the little angels. I like this. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a rosary. This is super cool. This is a Native American. Look at this. There's one of those little structures of. Uh, Oh my god, this is so cool. The Native Americans put out. This is Look so at that. Cool. That's actually fresh. That's new, too. They just. I wonder if this person just hey, recently Uncle. died. Uncle, buddy, you gotta see the wow. You can see how new the wood is. It's yeah. just starting to get dark. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at that. That is so cool. That's a cool bench. Right there. Yeah, it's a nice bench. But this is a. I'm not sure if this is the person that's buried there. Look at the cross. Randy. That's kind of faded right there on that cross. Nile? Yeah. Try not to step. And Randy A. Lee, 1965 to 2008. Look, he's got a wolf. Look at the wolves oh, at the cross, so at the cool. bottom of the cross. Yo, that's so cool. And the little car, race car. He must have been a race car lover because look at those race cars up on top of the yeah. cross. Look at the little wolves. That is beautiful. This is so cool. That is so beautiful. One with a picture on it. You can see him. Son, brother, Michael L. Tangerson, Wabaska, Michigan Seas. Uh, I'll probably be murdering that. September 30th, 1976 to October 14th, 1996. He was just young. Can you see his picture? Yeah. I love how they got the feather on there. Up. Not sure, but this could be a grave. I'm not gonna say it isn't, but there's a rosary wrapped around the top 
of this. I'm not sure if that's a grave or not. There's no name or anything, but that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I've never seen a grave like this. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at that. It, look, they just took wood sticks. That is definitely Native American. I don't know who's buried here, but that is interesting. Wow. He's obviously a soldier. Got the flag. No name though. No no name. There's no name on it, but that's just interesting. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. That is interesting. Well, sir, I salute you and thank you for your service. Yeah, a couple more of these uh, Native American ones. Oh, look at this one's got a bear. Up front, lying feet up. Man, that must have been his cane. I bet you that was at his cane, or whoever that was, or he or she. Wow. Because that's a cane. Or it could just be they made it. No, I think that was their cane. That probably, they probably walked around with that. That is beautiful. You know, this is beautiful. Definitely Native American. Look at that little statue right there. Look at all the colored rocks. They're definitely a Michigan fan. Look at this. Wow. And they obviously like Coke. They like Coke. This is uh, Gordon Lee Parrish. Buster, I guess that was his nickname. 1956 to 2009. That is beautiful. I like that. I love that. That's another parish. A lot of parishes here. I look at the eagle. There's an eagle on there. It's huge. Yeah, he was also a Detroit Tigers fan too. Beautiful. This was a beautiful bench. Look at that. I'm talking about them. Like how they have their car in here. No, like they can drive in here. Look at that. I can't tell what that's supposed to be. Oh, I guess. Oh, it's a uh, crane. I think it's a crane. Well, so far we haven't found that uh, grave of the last soldier of World War One, but uh, well, there is a one of those white markers, soldier markers there. Maybe that's him. I don't know. Where? See that white stone there? That's a soldier stone. Let's see what it says. Henry James Beto. Oh, there's a hole right there. Stepped in a hole. PFC U.S. Army World War II, January 13th, 1923 to 19, 14th, 2012. Hey, it's your dinner after I was born. Oh, well, look at the turtle. There's a turtle. Hey, it's your year after I was born. Yep. Well, Henry, I salute you and thank you for your service. Okay, now I'm really liking this, uh, the, how they like all, all kinds of graves. Look at this. This is definitely like metal art. De Devin Van Van Fiven. Probably murdering that name. 1994 to 2019. Bar Bargoth. Wow. He just recently died. Look at that. Yeah. I have never seen anything like this. A saw blade. Two years ago. That's not that long ago. Yeah. He died in 2019. That is interesting. I've never seen anything like that. I really like this tombstone. I like that. It's a cool little birdhouse. Is there any birds? It's a little bird. No, there's no birds in it. 
That is cool. Yeah, I'm liking this cemetery. It's not like your normal cemetery. They just do what they want. These wooden ones right there, look at that. That's probably what that guy was talking about, the wooden crosses. No, those are over there. It's cute. Look at these little bears in a circle. That is cute. Let me zoom in on it. That is cute on this grave right here. Here he is, guys. Here he is, the last soldier of World War I. Joseph Cameron, Private U.S. Army, World War I, 1885 to 1982. Cameron. Cameron. American hero. You gave your life in service for the country you held, held dear. So people in this crestful land will never file, live in fear. And you will be remembered as a hero and struggling tall. You probably served in com our country. We were awarded call. That is beautiful. I like that. It's like stained glass. Well, Joseph, I salute you and thank you for your service. All right, my fellow travelers, that's about it for this trip to the Overlook over here in the Bay Mills town, the, the Township here in the UP. This was a great place, you know, the Mission Hill Cemetery. I actually got to find that grave. I love this cemetery. I'm going to have to come back here next year because the, the graves they do here, I love it. All those weird, well, I wouldn't call them weird. I call them beautiful, you know, just not no, your normal gravestones, you know, and stuff like that. My nephew trying to yeah. photo bomb. Yeah. He's trying to photo bomb me. <laughs> Crazy kid. But yeah, this is great fun. But we're going to go get something to eat and all that. And I hope you enjoyed the overlook and the walk through the cemetery. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share me out. Share me out on all the social media. Tell your friends. Tell your family about me. So I can continue traveling and showing you cool stuff like this. Also, leave me a comment. Any comments appreciate it. You want a little bit of donation so I can continue on my travels? There's a link above. Uh, any ideas for me to do? Let me know. I just might show up and do it. So until next time, my fellow travelers. I'll see you around the mitten. Thank you.